Hi guys, this is Jin Yi's channel. Before we start, I would like to ask you a question. What is the most important thing about taking photos? Exactly, it is composition. This video will teach you three composition methods that will instantly improve your mobile photography skills in three minutes, including the rule of third, the diagonal composition, and the framing composition. So let's get it started! First of all, the rule of third. This method of composition is suitable for any shooting situation such as portraits, landscapes, or food. Before shooting, I strongly recommend opening the grade in your phone. It can help you find the composition more easily. The basic principle behind the rule of third is to break an image down into thirds, both horizontally and vertically, so that you have nine parts as follows. The four intersection points and the four lines are best the places to place the subject, creating a strong and balanced image. When shooting landscapes, we can choose to place the horizon on one of the horizontal diving lines, but pay attention to the emphasized part. If you want to emphasize the ground, you can put the horizon on the top horizontal line, and if you want to emphasize the sky, you can put it on the bottom line. In daily portrait shooting, we can choose to place the character on any four points to construct a harmonious and varying image. The second one is diagonal composition. This method is very flexible, making photographs more viable and dynamic. It is suitable for shooting one or more subjects, such as scenery or food. Take Peter and Salad as examples. Choose an overhead perspective, place the pizza on the intersection in the lower left corner and the salad on the upper right. The diagonal composition gives the subject a sense of dimension and texture. Method 3. Framing Composition This composition uses the foreground as a frame to keep the viewer's attention focused on the subject. It can also filter out the cluttered background. It provides a richer layer of scenery and also enhances the spaciousness and storytelling of the photograph to some extent. When shooting portraits in this way, we can use doors, windows, or reticulation as frames. Focusing on the character and defocusing the background makes the image more three-dimensional and intuitive. Props can also be used to create a frame when the environment is not available to create one. For example, shooting subject in a mirror or rolling up a book to form a circle. With the three composition methods I mentioned in this video, I'm sure you will be able to take more fantastic photographs with your phone. That's now for today. If you like this video, please click likes, leave your comment, and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!